All right. Well, here we are for better, for worse. As far as we know, this will be episode one of Red Hill Racing Podcast. Um, Ben Knight here with my co-host, Dustin Lee. What's up, guys? How you doing tonight, Dustin? I'm doing all right. Where are you? Tell everybody where you're recording from tonight. I am recording from Russellville, Tennessee. Yeah, and your home office? That's right. All right. Dustin's in Russellville. I am in Elkton, Virginia, and I'm actually in my work office. Because with a newborn, it just seemed like the best place for now. <laughs> yeah. It could also be in your camper. That was yeah, it, that's the other option, everybody. <laughs> where I, if you don't know, I have a fairly large garage that's heated. So my camper stays in there. And, and Dustin and I were debating earlier. And, you know, you might have an episode or most episodes. I might set up an office in my camper in the garage. So it'll be all good until we start doing these in the bathroom or something. <laughs> we got trouble <laughs> <laughs> doing, doing them live at the racetrack on the start yeah. line. Yeah, that'd um, be pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. That would be dangerous. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to go ahead and get a, a little warning out, um, out there. I am a certified sailor. Those that know me can test to that. Um, So I'm going to try my best to keep this, you know, kind of kid friendly or safe for work, but it's, you know, it's, it's on y'all. If I curse and it is what it is, I might edit it out, but probably not. So, you know, if it slips, it slips. Dustin's a lot better than me. So no, no, y'all are doomed (laughs) with me. You're in trouble with me. (laughs) Yeah. We might just have to label these things. uh, What is it? NSFW, not safe for work. Let's just hope we can get through this first introduction deal without Santa Cruz okay yeah if we can do that we're doing good so why don't we start by telling everybody the name dustin what do you think we we threw some ideas back and forth and we settled on red hill racing yeah it was kind of just really it was almost a facebook post or comment i think um you're a redneck i'm a hillbilly we race that's right at it that's right (laughs) that's that's exactly where we got red hill racing from there was no dustin lee ben knight there was no initials we were using you know where dustin's from you know his area i guess i guess hillbilly's more of a a slang word down there and where i'm from we call each other rednecks i guess so Uh, we got rednecks here too (laughs) we won't go into specifics yeah us hillbillies we feel like we're superior than rednecks sometimes around here (laughs) and on episode one i break my microphone because i spit liquor all over it Uh, so originally I was going to record like the intro slash episode one, uh, by myself. And so the first foray into that was I spent two hours trying to figure out why my microphone didn't work. So I wasn't in a great mood. And when I tried to go ahead and record some, like I just stumbled, bumbled, you know, like an idiot. And Dustin's like, I thought we were doing these together. And I was like, well, well we are, but I just was trying to get that done. And he's like, we'll be easy talking together. Right. So here we are. And my example just a few minutes ago to being about this was if you're going to do something awkward, what better way than to hold your best friend's hand and do it? <laughs> We're holding hands tonight, guys yeah. and girls, guys and girls. We're broadcasting to anyone and everyone. Um, so, yeah, that's that's kind of where uh, the name came from. Um, if you want a background info on us, um, Dustin, why don't you go ahead and tell them how, I mean, how long have you been racing? Man. So here locally, my dad drag raced a lot. And I guess you could say I was just a kid that played the racetrack while his dad raced, but I was pretty involved in dad racing. And anyway, I wanted a junior dragster because that's where we it's where you start at really when you're a kid. And uh I started then. I think this was like man, this had to be like two thousand and two or no, it was two thousand one. Um two thousand one. Now we're dating ourselves already. Yeah, and the reason I remember that is because I was racing when my dad crashed and he crashed in 01. And I maybe tested a little bit in like late 2000 to end the season, but I started in 01. So basically you've been been racing involved, whatever, for 20 plus years. Yeah, you know, a lot of people don't know this about me, but my dad owns a motorcycle salvage yard. So I've been around motorcycles and been drag racing with him my entire life. Like it's the only job I've ever had. I've never worked anywhere else. So there's there's a little bit of backstory on Dustin. What he hasn't told you that is probably 
more relevant and more recent, if nothing else, is how many championships have you won in the last seven years? We finally got 40. <laughs> 40? Yeah. I if mean. You heard that I, right. 40, not four, four, zero. I'm, I'm pretty good about setting goals for myself, and I try to set them that's like not realistic. And I never expect myself to always reach them, but I like shooting for them. Sometimes they happen. Sometimes they don't. But so far, I've been pretty blessed. I mean, it, this stuff really takes, I always say it takes a little bit of luck. But it's just something I do and I'm good at. And I really practice and I think about it each sleep and race. That's it. Well, I, th- I think the saying is luck is when preparation and hard work meet. And that's what I would say with you because – I've known you through all those championships and I've seen you win them all. So, yeah. um, yeah, it's a lot of hard work, but that's some background on Dustin. Um, we can go more in depth if you guys want us to, at some point, just let us know, you know, comments. Um, you know, we want feedback on this show. We want to deliver what you want or what we think you want. And we can talk about chickens if y'all want to, I mean, chickens. whatever y'all want to hear. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you don't need to count your chickens to the house. Oh, that's, that's kind of a drag racing term. You know what on, I mean? We're on chickens already. That's what I'm talking that's about. That's the old hillbilly. Um, <laughs> my background's kind of similar to Dustin. I mean, I, I grew up as a kid at the drag strip as well. My dad, he, you know, we he raced cars, um, drag raced cars, door cars. So grew up at the track. And uh, it's just a little bit different that I used to think the motorcycle guys were just completely batshit crazy. Because, I mean, why would you want to do that? And go that fast on the racetrack on a motorcycle anyhow (laughs) um yeah we'll save the long version for that for another day um but i did eventually get into motorcycle drag racing from a dear friend jerry turner that's a good friend to dustin and i both that's Um, my uncle jerry uncle jerry as we call him um we'll share that story one day but yeah i got into it um and i loved it I mean, like I said, I drag raced cars and such for a couple of years, but really fell in love with the motorcycle drag racing, had some pretty immediate success. And I think, I don't know, it's hard looking back. Dustin, I, we, I'm, I don't even know. We not to, I don't want anything we say to sound bragging because we're not doing this to brag, but I forget some of the stuff I've done. And I don't mean that in a bragging way. I think I've won seven championships. In like a well, five year span, we're trying to get to know to our our listeners. That's yeah. what we're trying to do. We're trying yeah, to help here. them understand who we are. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. That's what we're trying to achieve. But anyways, I think I've won a meager seven over five years, and then I I just honestly have not really had a desire to chase them. I'm not going to say I haven't been in position to possibly win some, but I haven't really been chasing them. Um. So anyways, close. I'm close not to for. That. Not for the last couple of years. Yeah, Dustin's close. We'll discuss when he may stop at a later time, but that's just kind of the background. So we feel we have some experience and background um, to share on drag racing and motorcycle drag racing specifically. So um, what? We're chickens. Yeah, we're chickens. (laughs) Just kind of like a preview to everybody of what we plan to talk about it's going to be a variety of everything it could be drag racing it could be chickens um hey man it could be it could be some something somebody done to us at the last race we might it 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 might get heated up in here Who knows? it it could be um some of the stuff just just that we jotted down that we plan to talk about um over different episodes and and we're going to try and kind of have a theme for each episode or at least a couple topics but some of the things we're looking at are hot topics which we already have an episode in line for the, oh, do we? wow tell them what, what's the first step do i need to bring first, it out what's the first actual episode with a agenda going to be on dustin tell and i don't know if they're ready for this or not it's called diapers now we're going to talk <laughs> we're going to talk about some diapers up in here <laughs> if, we, if we really want to throw gas on the fire we should talk about diapers and cheater clutches yeah, we're going to we're going to wow. talk about some things that get talked about all the time online. But you know what? That's what people want to talk about. So we're talk hot about topics. <clears throat> hot topics. That's one of the items we'll be talking about. Race previews. Um, I told Dustin, I listened to a, a podcast, um, the Sportsman Drag Racing podcast with uh, 
Big Jed, Jared Pennington, and Luke Bogacki. There's some car racers if you guys are familiar or not familiar with them. But man, you had me right there. I thought you talked about Uncle Jed. You know, uh, he'll be Uncle Jed. I know. <laughs> but just uh, that's just something I love listening to that and Joe Rogan on the way to races. So, uh, you know, we're going to do some race previews, um, race reviews. Uh, we hope to interview people, whether it be racers, um, industry experts, track owners, promoters. You name it. If if you want one. on the show, then let us know. I got one. What do you got? I'm going to interview some haters. <laughs> interview. <laughs> are, are they going to know that they're known haters? Or are we just going to invite them on and they we're going to figure it out? We're, it's going to be almost like an intervention. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> we're going to open it up. Intervention for the haters. I like it. I, I like hug it. it out. <laughs> so that's just some of the stuff we're going to talk about, and we're also going to have a focus on. You all are are well aware that this is a, a new venture for us, uh, this podcast. But it's kind of in conjunction with our with what we're really excited about, and that's that's the University of Wind. Um, and Dustin and I have been talking about this for a while. Something I've been wanting to do for years, and yeah. what that will be the short and sweet of it, because we're we're gonna have a whole episode before that launch is dedicated to it. But the short and sweet of the University of Wind is it's gonna be an online membership. And it's going to teach you how to excel at motorcycle drag racing. And your teachers are Dustin and I. And we I mean, hope- you guys might teach us something. Well, I, you never stop learning this stuff. Well, I, is I, the basics. I 100% agree with that. And I, I, that's why Dustin and I are excited to do it. Because we not only do we plan and hope to excel everybody's drag racing success, but we're, we're going to learn from it too. So that's why we're going to be... Uh, no, you know, we're not going to hold anything back. We're going to tell all the secrets, everything we do. And, you know, when it comes down to that stuff too, it's knowing it's one thing and executing it and doing it is totally different. So, you know, so as a group, like me and you and like a bunch of our tight group that we race with every weekend, you know, we all sit around and talk about our passes and like our scenarios or what we're going to, who we race and what happened. And theoretically that makes us better because sometimes talking about it, beforehand helps and that's 100%. what we're going to do for everybody else and that's 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 you know a life lesson that goes along with you know surround yourself with you know people you want to be like and be around and and you know i, th- I feel like we've done that like you said we we kind of have a a very close group that i don't know it's it's a large group but i mean you know we have a, a group of it's growing racers yeah then i mean like there's people that ain't a champion that we hang out with and talk scenarios and before you know it we're in the winter circle picture and that's yeah, real because they're damn good racers. We yeah. race with a lot yeah. of good people. So that's that's kind of what we're thinking on University of Wind. There's there's a lot more to it. Um, and we're super excited about that. So we'll get we'll get more into depth on that as it gets closer to a potential launch of March. Um, and we'll dedicate some time to it. But Dustin, what what do you have in mind? What are some goals you have for this podcast? What do you hope and think it's gonna do, or or what do you want to do with it? You know, what's tell everybody what your thoughts are on it. Man, realistically, I'm just talking to my people. <laughs> like, like this, I talk talking to, so to is people. Yeah, it's I mean, people. at the racetrack, you know, I have so many people come out of the trailer and we talk racing, or I might be helping them, you know, with setups or whatever. And I enjoy that. Sometimes I enjoy it so much that I get distracted and forget to go make a test lap on test. <laughs> but realistically, this is something that we've talked about. Not per se the podcast, but just trying to help people and talk about this stuff for years. I mean, man, it's been a long time coming and it's coming to reality now. Y'all might have to bear with us. You might have to bear with us a little bit because we're going to be struggling, I'm sure, at some point. Right now we're doing good, though. The time is now. It's 2023. Oh, I definitely have cursed a couple times. Oh, have you? Oh, Oh, for sure. (laughs) Yeah, I'm definitely. That's why I got out the way early. I was like, y'all, yeah. y'all better buckle in because you know it's hard to say what I might say. Yeah. Luckily, I'll uh, I'll try and do everybody a favor and limit my my on air drinking. Of course, it is yeah. when it's eight thirty. We're you know we're, we're I guess chilling. Uh, I guess this could be considered work now though. Dang, sorry, I mean, whatever. Yeah, it is a job, but whatever. Look, I'm I'm authorizing you to drink on this podcast if if oh, you feel man. necessary. I done had a moonshine a little bit ago, so we good. Well, I'm hoping I get you know I get that back right. Hey, wait, you know, <laughs> you know, you know what, you know what people need to know? What's that? It was banana pudding moonshine. 
banana buddy. I didn't, I didn't know that. What is that from like um what's down there? Old Smoky or something? Yeah, yeah, it's the deal up there in Gatlinburg, man. Yeah. It's like it's impressively good. Like it's dangerous. Is it? Because it almost sounds gross. No, actually, <laughs> I'm I'm gonna tell some stuff. There's some of them Mondays that roll up and Dustin puts about a shot of it in his coffee. Right? Ooh, I like that. I could deal With with breakfast. That. That's a breakfast of champions right there. But over the holidays, Tiffany kept asking why. <laughs> probably shouldn't share this but whatever tiffany kept asking why i was uh, making coffee in the middle of the day before we go over to like visit families and then she realized i was putting kalua in my coffee yeah. <laughs> well that's like, so to be honest that's why the, the, the banana pudding moonshine is in the house was for christmas um but we didn't uh, make it I got you. so i'm not gonna waste it you know i'm just trying not to waste things trying not to be wasteful that's why I'm no, glad. for sure for sure you should see me eating some what i have for lunch i had these old ass microwavable sausage biscuits that what i had them from was from the damn racetrack they were in my camper. oh yeah them jimmy deans baby you can't go wrong with those and you know what they these were no they were not they in fact it's coming to me now i think they're like they're called like little tennessee or something oh yeah the yeah. tennessee valley <laughs> yeah t- man yeah. them little bitty micro biscuits are the best on a yeah they are if they're not like yeah. a year old and well i mean burnt. just put I a little bit more for lunch just, and t- oh. just put more stuff in your coffee you'll be fine yeah anyways um so yeah, we're getting off track, but that's that's probably some of what you'll hear on the podcast, I guess. Um, yeah, we could we could really keep going here, but I feel like that this was a pretty good introduction. It's a pretty good introduction. I think the only other thing I want to add is that um, you know we're gonna have uh, a subscription available for the podcast. It's it's totally um, you know optional. But what the subscription will do, it's not going to be much, maybe a dollar a month, maybe 99 cents, whatever we decide on. What the, the subscription is going to go to, though, just kind of overhead. You know, we spent some money on some equipment. Uh, we have some applications and software that, you know, has monthly and yearly fees. So just kind of some overhead to go to that. And additionally, we're going to get some giveaways lined up for the subscribers. So that'll just kind of be an added bonus. So like I said, it's going to be optional, but you know, if, if you feel the need and can, you know, subscribe for whatever we come up with the 99 cent, a dollar fee every month. So 12 bucks a year, we feel like that's a, affordable. <laughs> you could spend a dollar and get a, a, a sweet t-shirt from me. You never know. Okay. I thought you were going to say something crazy. Like, well, you I didn't know, know I was, I was worried about what you of, were going to say. Like, well, you know, there's you sometimes promising? you, you can't get nothing for a dollar that's worth anything. Yeah. You could spend a dollar and get pretty something pretty. Yeah, so like you could get a T-shirt, but we're we're gonna get some prizes, and we'll we'll announce those. But we're gonna have some incentives for our subscribers. Um, and like I said, there's it's gonna be totally optional. Uh, I'd say at least ninety five percent of the podcast episodes, you know, you'll be able to listen to them for free. We might have a few that are subscription only, but mainly the subscription fee will be to cover overhead, um, and giveaways. We're gonna do giveaways. So, and look, stay, stay tuned you for could- that. You could listen to one of these podcasts and just have the best day ever afterwards. And what else could they do? Yeah. I mean, look, that's, that's my goal for the podcast. Like I'm going to have a Patreon, right? Yeah. Yeah. My, my goal for the podcast is this. I, I get extreme joy listening to the few podcasts I listen to. And like I said, one of them is a sportsman uh, drag racing podcast with big Jed and Luke Bogacki. Um, Another one's Joe Rogan. I love Joe. Um, Some of that shit. I die laughing. And I mean, some of those podcasts are three hours long. So my goal for the podcast is for whoever listens to it. I hope it does something for you. You know, maybe you learn something. Maybe you don't. Maybe you say Ben's an idiot. Dustin's hilarious. I mean, we we don't know, but as like long I as I already you... know I'm an idiot. So you can't <laughs> that position. No, you're just a hillbilly. You're just <laughs> a right. hillbilly. But as Old long country. as you as long as the listener gets something out of it, that's you know, whatever it is. A laugh, like Dustin said. I feel like Dustin's gonna be the comedian. He's gonna keep y'all laughing. Um and you know, I'm hell, wit- I might get I'm drunk. witty. Y'all might meet Darnell on this show. I don't Man, know. Man, Darnell come up in here. I'm gonna have to pull the voices out. This microphone has voices. If I get I'm gonna Darnell, have to let you control the recording if that happens. Oh man. <laughs> Welcome Darnell. <laughs> All right. Well, we're, I'd say we're close to wrapping up. Um, by the time this comes out and airs uh, a couple ways to reach us, uh, red hill racing podcast.com. That's our website. It's, it's actually live as we record this right now. There's, there's a little bit of work to do, but it's, it's up and running. You can find out info there. Um, you'll actually be listening to the podcast on 
you know, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, all the major podcasters. Um, so I see, I don't even know all the all the platforms for it. We got a uh, just sounds weird. Podcasters. Yeah, podcasters. Are we podcasters? We now? Nah, we redneck and hillbillies, man. Yeah, Here red hill racing. <laughs> <laughs> we got a Facebook page. It's basically, I think it's facebook.com backslash Red Hill Racing Podcast. Um, like us on that, follow it. There'll be updates on that. And then also, if you go to the website, you know, sign up for email updates on that. Um, what else you got, man? You got anything else? Did we do man, decent? Yeah, I think we done good. I really don't want to keep going because I'm afraid we're going to spill the beans early. I think so. It. I think so. This is, I feel like this is a good intro. What is this, 15, 20 minutes, maybe? I don't know. I've been talking to Episode my friend. I th- that's right. That's right. All right, then. Well, um, I don't know. We're going to try and come up with some badass or at least we're going to think it's badass intro and outro music so by the time this plays maybe we'll have it maybe we won't i don't know maybe we, we'll just we have got chickens some, clucking yeah we got <laughs> <laughs> roosters crowing baby <laughs> oh snap snap uh, we could get crazy up in here all right all right all right well uh this is episode one or the intro or the trailer it might be all three uh we honestly don't know how this shit works quite yet so we're stumbling through it but we hope you, know you enjoy what, the ride. We're going to learn today. We're going to learn we'll figure today. Figure it out. And we yeah. hope everybody enjoys the ride. So uh, subscribe to the podcast. Leave us comments. We want feedback. That's what we're going to run off of. So you leave us feedback. Let us know what you want to talk about. And we'll do our best to get it on the show. So without further ado, um, if that's it, I'm going to go grocery shopping. Yeah, it's, it's great to you know go to the grocery store at 9 o'clock at night. There's nobody in there. I love it. Wait, that's my favorite what, what, time. What about the whiskey he was drinking? I only had one. Oh, oh, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I just had one. Oh, we're all right, then. Yeah, all we're right, good. Cool. We're good. All right, man. All right. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in, and we'll see you for episode two, which Dustin is named Diapers. A later. <laughs>